ready to sing a lullaby? Lullaby, lullaby, lullaby. Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year to you all. Sorry it's been a while, but uh, I've got to admit, lost a bit of interest, and the weather hasn't been that great. Anyway, so I got a phone call yesterday afternoon from Carl. As you can see, Carl's there, saying there's a lot of pigeons on a winter brock field. And could I come this morning? So I had nothing planned. So I rung Chris. Chris is on his way. He's late to help me set up. Well, so we've been here half an hour. Carl's been here over an hour, ain't you, Carl? Yeah, 40 minutes. And that, and the con the flight line's just constant from the right to the left of the field. It's quite quite a good f amount of pigeons coming through at the minute. A lot of pigeons. Whether they uh, come back when we move them on to get set up is another question. It's fairly regular, isn't it, over that top edge? Yeah, it's been non-stop, absolutely non-stop. So hopefully we're in for a good do. If not, if we get 10, 20, it's still a day out. Helps my mate out. Then Carl's farm and manager on here. Kindly asked us if we could go because he's up work this morning and he can't make it. You had a good do in the week, mate, didn't you? With 410 yeah, and that. Spring greens, yeah. With his 410, he shot 59. Didn't invite me. <laughs> I could have recorded it for you guys because I know you like your um, was at work. pigeon shooting videos. God, jeez, look at them all yeah. coming across here, look. Anyway, we'll get off. We'll go get set up when Chris arrives and we'll come back to you. Well, gentlemen, not often you'll see this since the lad's lost a bit of weight and that he's got a bit of energy about him. Come on. Let me bring it on. Look at him, look. Proper Fenland tiger, that is. Look at him roaring to go. Give us a roar, Dwayne. So that's the eye I've got. I've, Chris has just put on. I've just got to get in now and check it's all right. Gear out the truck and get it all ready. And that. My snacks for later. Yeah, we're a bit out of practice. We are. I'm on the old Fiocchi cartridges again because we haven't been there for so long. Hello, Meg. How oh, kindly dropped us ten decoys off this morning. Has he picked us some good ones or good ones? Yeah. It's Meg's first outing today on the pigeons. Yeah. Just putting a few out. Excuse the shaking us. We're a bit out of practice, guys. Yeah, so got looking at the uh, plants that uh, the pigeons have been eating and uh, stick a cradle in there and sit them sort of on top. You've got to imagine what the pigeon's doing. You've got to try and mimic it, you see. So, and the bigger you 
pattern you make it with few decoys, the better there's, and there's more gaps for them to land in. So, but you put your pigeon on and make the, fe make the feathers look nice, not scruffy. So, but you know, stick them on cradles, it lifts them up a bit, and they're easier for the bird on, approaching birds to see. So that should be it. Always put a few on the headland as well, because the grey of the pigeon seems to shine up really good on on the uh, soil background. So, and you can see, well, Dwayne will probably show you, but there's a lot of pigeon droppings and that all over the headland. So, but anyway, that's the pattern set up. We'll see whether we need another uh, magnet out shortly. So. Um, yeah, and that'll be it really. Yeah, what happened there, you plum? So if you look at the shot cam on the gun, I ain't got it fixed on right. You'll see later in the video what I mean. It's way out. It is. I, and I get a bit frustrated with it later, as you'll see. Out of practice, boys. Out of practice. That's better, Dwayne. Oh. What am I doing? Why? Why? Long shots, perfect. They're in fucking big bunches now. This morning when we first got here, there was nice little bunches. There we go. Let's see how we get on here. Connecting with them second shots. That was a 
fucking way sack. It's like fucking bugging me. So for those of you that don't know about the shot cams, they've got a little rubber insert on the clamp to stop it from damaging your gun. So when you tighten down, it doesn't damage your barrel. Now when I put mine on, my gun, I didn't realise that the right side of the rubber insert had folded over. So when I tightened it down, it put its skew with on the gun. And, that, and you'll see through these next lot of clips what I mean. It's way out. So, yeah, and that's why I ripped it off because it was annoying me. Well, I've been going over an hour and I am shooting like an absolute bell end. I just don't know what I'm doing and where it's because I'm out of practice and that. I don't know. I've been shooting really well at the pheasants and that with the over and under. Perhaps I should have bought the over and under. And that, uh, so yeah, bloody hell. Chris is just sat in his truck watching me. And I know he's shaking his head. But absolutely terrible shooting from me. Way, you know they are. Yeah, that's what I say. Stuff close. I'm just wondering if it. Yeah, what's these doing? With this tight choke, like. No, that was that was in the bow cover. That was. Mine. They're forty plus yards. They are. Good shooting. Fucking right at the front end. That was mate. Right. I'm just wondering if I'm overleading stuff. Isn't Could it? be because they're turning out. Yeah. That was a good shot that was, because he was fucking, he'd seen you as you'd seen him, hadn't he? Yeah. As you got up. But yeah. they keep swinging, you see, don't they? Yeah. decided to call it. Chris has gone back to the truck. He's got a good half a mile walk back to the truck. Uh, I shot 32 so I'd say that'll be it. They're just about dried up. So uh, when he gets back uh, we'll uh, get collected up but until he gets back I'll carry on shooting. So yeah as I say I've not shot really well and but what I have shot have been some good shots like I didn't realise how far they were until Chris come and sat at the side of me and said, they're further than what you think they are, right? So, yeah, perhaps you should have let them come a bit closer. I don't know. Right, I'll see you at the end of the video. As I said in the beginning of the video, it's Meg's second time out picking up. She had a day out a 
through days as before on the pheasants and she worked really really well and I was watching I was shooting and Chris was picking up behind me and uh, I was watching her when she was picking up yeah she's got the makings of a brilliant dog and you'll see that in this next part of the video I've had to put music over it because the wind pollution was so bad on the day it, it, it would be a bit unbearable to watch of course not forgetting Lexi that bitch is going to take some beating when she's gone over the years I've witnessed her do some phenomenal retrieves out of water over tidal rivers and everything um, but I do believe Meg's got the makings of a good bitch in her and especially with Chris he'll put 100% into her I'm sure he will Well guys, I think you'll all agree what a brilliant way to end the video with Meg working for the first time out pigeon shooting. Chris brought her alongside us to sit and hide for a while. She wasn't sure for a bit, but uh, she soon got used to it. So well done Meg. And of course, not forgetting our Lexi. Well, I did do an outro to the video on the day, but with the wind pollution, it just about wiped my voice out. So we'll have to do it this way. So I'd like to give a special thanks to Carl for coming on the day and helping us set up and also arranging the day. And also a special thanks to my brother from another mother, Chris. You know what I mean? Without him, I wouldn't do a lot of these days. And, you know, he doesn't shoot himself. He likes being part of the day. And that he loves working his dogs, he loves setting things up and he loves getting things right. And 99% of the time, he does get it right. So thank you to Chris. If you've enjoyed this video, then please remember to give it a like, a share and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. And also pressing the notification bell in the top right hand corner of the screen. That way you'll be notified of every time I post content to my channel. So, thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.